OK, so let's have an overview of the two types of reflections we've looked at. So when we had y equals f of x being transformed to y equals minus f of x, then this was a reflection in the x-axis. Now, as you can see, the y is becoming negative. It's changing sign. So if you're, if you're unsure, then think about a coordinate that's not on either of the coordinate axes. So just choose a point. So let's say, um, I don't know, 2, 2. If I change the y coordinate and it becomes minus 2, then this is a reflection in the y, in the x-axis. OK, so it's a reflection in the x-axis. So the other type was y equals f of x being transformed to y equals f of minus x. And this was a reflection in the y-axis. So here the x is changing sign. So just choose a point. So let's go with 2, 2 again. The x coordinate changes sign, so minus 2, 2. The y coordinate will stay the same. And so that's a reflection in the y-axis.